Hey, Mark, I'm going to start you off here. Well, tell us about the game. I mean, obviously a big game for you. I mean, uh, talk about, uh, you know, how nice it was to go back there and just get a crucial win, and, and you know, you really were a vital part in the, uh, the win there. Uh, the team was a vital part in the win, so just uh, going out there with our heads on our shoulders, knowing that we needed a win, uh, coming in with a ga good game plan from the coaches. I think the coaches really watched film and came up with a great, great game plan. I had a lot to do with it. So uh, the players just executing all the plays that the coaches call. And we, we had to go out there and come out the W, take each, each weekend, get the W. And you guys got behind by a couple of touchdowns and no panic. I mean, what, uh, what was the team feeling when you were down two touchdowns and still confident, obviously, I, I suppose? We just knew we couldn't let them get 21-0. Then confidence would be pretty low. We knew it kind of got out of hand at 14-0, so we had to put points on the board. And I think that's when uh, Jake scored, and it was 7-14. to 14. So we got in some good shape and followed through with uh, Wes uh, Langford uh, field goal to get 10-14. to 14. And personally, I mean, how, how are you, you feeling like you're doing right now? I mean, I know early in the year there was a little bit of an adjustment, you know, with the new team, the new offense and all that. But it, it seems like now you're getting, uh, you're getting stronger, you're getting better, and you're putting uh, some good stats on the board, right, when it matters the most. Uh, just for the beginning of the year, uh, kind of like was learning the plays and still like just coming in late. So now that I know exactly what I'm doing, I'm able to move faster and get to my blocks on time and – I'm just moving. I know, I'm knowing where I'm going, so I can do it at a faster pace instead of guessing all the time. It was two long touchdown runs. I mean, how nice was it to, to bust out, and especially that 77-yard one? How, how nice was that to <laughs> pull that uh, one off? That was lovely. I just uh, Jordan's block set it off. I, I seen the hole and just seen green and turned it on. <laughs> You've been waiting for that one all year? Yes, Something sir. Like yes, sir. Uh, you know, so when you guys lost to Southern Utah, you knew if you're going to have any chance of making the playoffs, you'd have to win four in a row. You've done your job so far three in a row. How nice is it going into the last week of the regular season, season knowing that you still have a chance at the playoffs? It's a real good feeling. And I don't think no one on the team wants it to slip away. So uh, just to be playoff eligible, we just happy to have it at, our, at home game to play Davis at home and try to come up with a victory this Saturday. What are your thoughts going into this week's game with Davis? Uh, start with practice. Practice is where to start. Then uh, good energy going to lead to the game, and hopefully we come out to win. Uh, we know you weren't here last year, so I mean you haven't been part of the Davis rivalry, but uh, have the guys mentioned anything to you? Yes, what, what, what it might I've be? I've heard a lot about Davis, and it's a lot we plan for this week. Uh, the seniors. Uh, uh, a win for playoffs, the the trophy, the little, um, I'm not sure what it is, the horse, what is it called again? Yeah, the horseshoe. And uh, it's, it's a lot of that we're playing for. And I would imagine the team, I mean, you really want this the, the crowd to come out and be that 12th man. I mean, talk about what you guys hope will be the atmosphere of this game that hopefully can, uh, you know, help you guys out on, on Saturday. Uh, we just hope everyone come out and support us, and it's to be a full house to cheer us on to, to beat uh, Davis. And hopefully, all the fans come out and support us and have it loud in there. We need them. We need them. We feed our energy feeds from everyone. So, as we're doing good, they cheering us on. It, it'll be a good thing. And we know if you guys win, I mean, you're not a lock to make the playoffs. That's in the hands of the committee, and it's always that's always something where we hold our breath around here. But what would it mean for you guys to make the playoffs this year? Because, I mean, you guys have such a, a brutal schedule. But, I mean, I know Coach probably doesn't want you talking about playoffs. But, you know, um, what do you think it would mean for the guys? It would mean a lot. Uh, it wouldn't be just their last game. So I'm pretty sure they don't want to just spend, say their last game was in the regular season. They want to go to the playoffs. So we do it for the seniors and for ourselves as a team, as a staff. How's it going? How you doing? I'm doing well. Let's just, I mean, how great is the team feeling right now? I mean, you guys have had some kind of ups and downs, and you guys are, you know, three in a row, looking good, and you guys are right where you guys wanted to be. Uh, 
as I was walking around campus all day, I seen some players. Everybody's had a smile on their face. So I think we're we feeling pretty good. We still uh, playing like we have a chip on our shoulder. So we just know that we everybody's getting talking about Davis. They're not talking about uh, what happened in South Dakota. We're talking about getting ready for this week. You know, after putting up such big numbers, you know, obviously they'll be keying on you even more this week. Um, I mean, kind of what what challenge are you taking upon yourself to, you know, follow that great game that you had, and, and what can you do to help your team win this week? Uh, accept my role and try to just come back with another performance as last week, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> cool. Thanks, man. Thank you.